friends in this video we will study the comparison between the microprocessors and microcontrollers so let us start with our topic The first difference or we can say the first comparison between microprocessor and microcontroller is that microprocessor it contains the arithmetic logical unit, the control unit, memory, input output ports. They are all on different circuits. Means we have to whenever the microprocessor it wants to uh, have some uh, access of the memory or the input output ports or if we want to access the uh, serial input output communication if we want to do so for all that we have to use the interfacing because all these components they are not present on the single chip whereas in the case of microcontroller the memory the ram rom and the input output ports timers counters and uh, the arithmetic and logical unit control unit all are present on the single chip okay so there is no need for interfacing all devices are present or embedded on the same chip so they can communicate easily whereas microprocessors we have to use the interfacing for every device so first difference we can say that microprocessor contains So here in microprocessor we have the ALU control unit means the timing and the clock circuit the different registers and the interrupt circuit okay only these things are involved in the microprocessor whereas in microcontroller it itself contains a microprocessor memory input output interfacing circuit peripheral devices serial and timing circuit etc on the single chip or we can say that microcontroller is a computer on the same chip okay so microprocessor it is this itself a part of microcontroller second difference we have is So in microprocessors because memory and all they are outside that uh, chip so it has many instructions to move the data between the memory and the central processing unit. Whenever data is to be transferred between memory and the central processing unit we can have different instructions for it. But in microcontroller there is only one or two instructions for moving the data between the memory and the central processing unit. Thank <laughs> you. 
again for the instructions in microprocessor there are only one or two bit handling instructions whereas in microcontrollers there are many bit handling instructions because microcontrollers they have uh, two type of addressing for the memory bit addressing also and byte addressing also so for the bit handling instructions there are many instructions in microcontrollers whereas in microprocessor there are only one or two instructions Now as in the microprocessors, the memory it is outside the microprocessor, the external memory is present. So the access time for the memory and the input output devices are more. Whenever microprocessor it wants to communicate with the memory and the input output devices, more time is taken in comparison to the microcontrollers. Because in microcontrollers, the memory and the input output devices, they are, they are built in, means they are embedded on the same chip present on same chip so less time will be taken to transfer or to access the memory and input output devices so here access time is more whereas in microcontroller access time is less In the microprocessor, because we have a separate uh, ALU unit, means arithmetic logic unit, separate control unit, memory unit, all these devices are separate. So uh, the uh, applications which require the microprocessor, they will require more hardware. Whereas in microcontroller, because all the devices, they are present on the same chip, so they will require less hardware. So microprocessor, they, uh, those applications which require the microprocessor, which uses the microprocessor, they will require more hardware and the PCB size is also increased. Whereas in microcontroller, PCB size is reduced because all the components are present on that same chip and also because all the components are on the same chip so reliability is also increased okay so we can say that microcontroller based applications they are more reliable than the microprocessors So microprocessors, they are more flexible in their design, means a single microprocessor, it can be used for various applications. Whereas the microcontrollers, they are less flexible from the designing point of view. So we cannot use a microprocessor for the different applications. So we can say that the microprocessors, their designing cost is uh, very high because uh, we are using, uh, because a single microprocessor, we can uh, make it to convert to uh, be used for different applications okay single microprocessor can be used so their designing cost is very high whereas microcontrollers because they are less flexible in design so once we have manufactured a microcontroller it will be used for a single or one specific application only so their designing cost will be low okay so here we can say so high designing cost on here so less designing cost <clears throat> So 
in microprocessors we have the memory and in memory we store the programs and data so uh, in microprocessor whenever we want to communicate with the memory then there is a single memory map means the addressing of the memory either for the data stored in memory or the programs stored in memory that will be the same we will have different addresses for the memory locations so in microprocessors there is a single map for the memory whenever the memory is storing the data or the programs so that that data and program it can be accessed by using single addresses for the memory locations whereas in microcontrollers because there are two types of memory one for the data and one for the program storage so whenever we want to use the data we will point towards the data memory and whenever we want to use the programs or access the programs we will use the program memory so there is a different mapping for the addresses of the memory for the data and the programs in case of microcontrollers so here in case of microprocessor single memory map is there for the data and the program code and in microcontrollers there is a separate memory map for data and the program code next difference between the two is that in the microprocessors uh, we have the uh, ICs for the different microprocessor and those ICs they will have pins for there okay like uh, a microprocessor example is 8085 microprocessor that is a 40 pin microprocessor so those pins they will have different functions those pins will perform different types of functions okay so in microprocessors there are less number of pins which are multifunction means for um, there are pin and those pin will have a specific function no pin is there which is having double functions or multifunctions associated with it whereas in case of microcontroller single pin it can be used for various types of functions means uh, pin it can be used as an input pin also as an output pin also so the in microcontroller case there are pins which have multi functions but in microprocessor there are less number of pins which are multi functioned next difference between microprocessor and microcontroller is that microcontroller it is used uh, microprocessor it is used for big applications okay so applications which are very complex for that applications microprocessor is used because microprocessor it requires more hardware its designing cost is very uh, high so uh, we design the microprocessor or use it for big applications whereas microcontroller their designing cost is very less and it they are used for single task only so in an application if we want that this task should be performed by the micro uh, by a device so that that place we use a microcontroller so for a specific task only we use microcontroller in the applications whereas microprocessor they are used to perform big uh, they are used in bigger applications next differences we have are
the microprocessor because they are used in big applications so complex applications so it is not easy to replace the microprocessor whereas microcontrollers they can be easily replaced because all the devices they uh, because there is a single chip for the microcontrollers whereas in case of microprocessor all the devices associated uh, like memory input output devices they all have to be replaced so replacement in case of microprocessor it is not easy whereas in microcontrollers they can be easily replaced in case of microprocessor because there are so many devices so power consumption is also very high whereas in microcontroller because they are developed using the cmos technology so power consumption is less in the case of microcontrollers So microprocessor because it has to control the entire system so its power consumption is high whereas microcontroller because they are built with CMOS technology so they will require less power to operate. So these are the differences between the microprocessor and the microcontroller. The main difference between these two is that in case of microprocessor the memory is external whereas in the case of microcontroller the memory is embedded on the same chip. Okay so that's the main difference between them. So I hope that this topic is now clear to you. Thank you.